welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to disable JavaScript on any web page using Puppeteer. This is a classic example where you want to disable JavaScript because you want to make sure that if certain scripts are not there in your page, how will the page behave, how will the components render, etc. So this is an excellent uh, use case which is often used in enterprises. So you must know how to disable JavaScript in a page using Puppeteer. That being said, let's get started. This is part 17 of the series. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, make sure that you go through all of this so that you can learn and master Puppeteer with me. I have covered all the th details and the code we have written with a lot of use cases. So it will definitely help you. Today we are learning how to disable JavaScript in web page. So what are the methods we are going to use? We are going to use a launch, new page, go to, and then we'll be using set JavaScript enable. That's a new method that we will see today, which will help us to disable JavaScript. With that being said, let's jump right into code. <coughs> All right, so let me go ahead and create a new file 17.js this is episode number 17 and we'll start writing our code we'll first import the puppeteer require puppeteer close it <coughs> i'm going to implement a async function and we let's call it disable javascript and we can pass some params so i'm going to pass a param url okay which is what we'll do and we'll do a try catch exception whenever we write async uh, it's a good practice to start with try catch so let's do a console log of error and just say error disabling javascript and pass that error now in the try block the first thing we'll do is create the browser instance and puppet here launch and you can pass options uh, headless if you want it true or false by default it's true but I am using false <coughs> let's create a page and say browser.new page by now I'm sure that if you're following this series all of this you should be able to easily write so what do we do to disable we'll write page dot set JavaScript enabled and here it's a boolean value so if you say false it will disable the JavaScript in the page okay now if you want it to be true which is by default so that's something that's already available but if you want to explicitly set it to false we will use JavaScript disable false okay so that's the code that uh, you need to enable in terms of disabling the javascript now we can just do the regular one that we have that we can say go to the url that we are passing so now first you are disabling the javascript and then you are saying go to that particular page to perform perform some operations okay perform some operations and then you will just close the browser close that's it that's all you need uh, so basically this one line which says await page dot set JavaScript enabled false will set it to false okay now to run it in the terminal you will write node episode 17 dot JS and it's not running because we haven't called that function yet so I'm going to say disable JavaScript and we'll pass a uh, URL Right. So you can pass anything, um, say example.com and even better, we can just log a console log and say JavaScript is disabled and let's run this. <coughs> while it's taking a while, uh, JavaScript is disabled, right? So basically that's how in any page you want to see if you have a 
dev QA UAT URL where you want to disable you can just add this one line and then Puppeteer will know that I don't have to execute any JavaScript and disable everything on this page okay that's pretty straightforward simple use case I hope it's clear so just add this one line this is the important line and that should solve the problem right so quick and easy uh, nothing complicated there in the next episode I'm going to go a little uh, use case uh, where we will highlight links in a page and that's very important because especially when you're talking about web scrapping data extraction you're talking about links so you might want to highlight few links which are important which are broken etc so those things will work in the next episode where I will show you how to highlight certain links in a web page I hope it's clear if you have any queries doubts write to me in the comment section please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you see you in the next episode